What's going on, my comrades? It's your boy, Frank and Ferris, bringing you another episode of the Arizona Coyotes franchise mode. This episode, we're going to get through the resign phase, and we are going to also spin that lovely wheel during the resign phase, as well as maybe free agency. We shall see. We got to jump into here. Our contracts. The big one. The big fish. Barrett Hayden. He wants paid. Mr. Barrett, I don't shake hands of no Russians. Hayden. Oh, boy, you want to get paid. 7.4 million, six years. Term, I like. I would like to bump that up a little bit. I would like to bump that up a little bit. We are working with a lot of cap space, which is very nice. But if I can get that, say, be 6.75... I'll make me like this contract a lot. Ooh, no. Uh, I could do seven years, at least buy up one UFA year. Yeah. Actually, I would probably buy up maybe uh, two or three. I, I, I don't know how the... Uh, game calculates when a player is ready to become a ufa it's it's strange sometimes but yeah we'll try this we'll see what hayden thinks if he accepts then we'll spin the wheel if he doesn't accept where yeah we're not going to spin the wheel now we're not going to do that for every contract negotiation it's once he accepts we spin the wheel centers uh johan larson does not want to return i will say Goodbye to you, Johan Larson. Thank you for your service. Cooper Marardi, though. No, I'm not giving you that. I am not giving you that money. <sighs> no, maybe I could do like a one-year deal for 1.5 or 1.75, but you're asking for a pretty penny. For someone I'm not... 100% positive is going to be in the full-time lineup. Spacek, you're playing well. For a second, I thought it was said Steinberg was the second-line center, and I just went, what the hell? Spacek will bring you back. Steinberg will bring you back. I'm happy with that. Carter Rowney, you play in the AHL all last season. We don't really know how you fit. I'm just going to say a goodbye to you. Because you were just kind of traded for the contract spot. Lane Peterson. Not amazing stats. Yeah, not 17 goals. It's kind of nice, but... uh, hmm, Michael Shapu. Uh, only 23 points. Yeah, I think we're going to say goodbye to Michael Shapu. I'm not entirely thrilled with that. Blake Spears. I'm just going to say goodbye to you, Blake Spears. Thank you for your service, but we will be moving in a different direction. Okay, left side. Berchi does not want to come back. Thank you for your service, Ben Berchi, and being a part of our little test. But Braden Park, I'm definitely bringing him back. He played really good for Tucson. Yeah, screw it. Two years. Yeah, you earned it, kid. Two years. Michael, we will let him play in the uh, U.S. for another year. And then bring him over to the AHL. Uh, oh, wow. oh wow, your defensive awareness is actually better than your offensive awareness. I thought his defensive awareness was 69. I was looking at face-offs. That's pretty good, Eichel. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> Christian Fisher. What do you want? If you're going to do a two-year deal... Two year, let's say 1.5. I think that's Gucci. I like that. Tyler, it, look, what do you want? They're falling back a little bit, but that's still one of your good totals. You're a pretty good player who can slot on the third line sometimes, so I would like to bring you back as well. I'll give you five. Two years is good. Tom Kunakle does not want to resign. I don't want to resign you anyway, Tom. JK, I love you. Take care. Kiss on the forehead. Yegor. A Korshkov. Uh, I could bring him back. Yeah. 
Uh, Shen Shin, I will just keep because why not? I have all the power in the world. Yeah, I'll bring back the search cop. I don't see a reason why not to. Bo Bennett, my friend. Of course you're coming back because you're amazing. I love you. Hudson Ashing, Ew, 25 points. Hey, plus 13. It's better than last season. It's better than last season. If you were to play a strictly fourth line role, I would bring you back then. All right, SUNY. However, SUNY, I'm finally going to put pen and paper to your uh, contract. But you'll be down in junior, so I don't have to worry about it. I have not have to worry about it. Colin Miller. How'd you play in Arizona? Four goals. Uh, I didn't really do much during the playoffs. Uh, Lavoy, I will definitely bring back. I'll just do one year. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably say no to Colin Miller. The fact he was probably a strict rental. Yeah, top four is gonna be Chitrin, OEL, Vatnin, and then probably Bean? I don't know. Which means one of Ruda or John is gonna have to leave. Because Sutterstrom's here, which who might actually jump into the top four? Who knows? Yeah, Colin Miller. Thank you for your services, but we're going to go in a different direction. Okay, Mayo. Mayo, man. You. So, in the minors, La Joie. Nope. <laughs> La Joie, DJ Brennan, who is doing good. Saravari, fine. Deneen, fine. Mayo, sure. I'll bring y'all back, Mayo. You're looking mighty cute. Jordan Gross. Uh, you barely slotted in. And yeah, we'll just keep you for depth. I don't see a problem with that at all. Goaltenders. Darcy. Kemper. I know it's going to hurt. Thank you for your service, Darcy. Greatly appreciate it. You got us on two playoff runs. And you got us past. The uh, President Trophy Dallas Stars, which I will not shut up about. I'm very proud of this team for doing that. But thank you for your service, Darcy. Stick taps all across the boards. Aiden Hill. Question is, which Aiden Hill are we seeing? Are we seeing this Aiden Hill? Are we seeing this Aiden Hill? I think we can give him one more year as a backup job. But I'm not giving you a lot. I'm giving you one year. If you don't perform well, you're gone. Staylock, who came in as a deadline rental, I'm positive he's not going to repeat that. And yeah, playoffs, you got into a couple games, you were, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to say goodbye to Staylock. He was also a rental. Ivan Prosvetov will bring you back for a season. We'll see if everyone accepts. All right, we're going to advance. Yay! Morrissey is going to return to the Coyotes. Excellent to see. Fairchild is going to return to the scouting staff as well as Musil. Pitlick has said no. Fisher has said no. Aiden has said no. Moroni says no. Lajoie finally says yes. Senishin, or Kershikov. Uh, Hill does come back on a cheap deal. Mayo returns. Bo Bennett. Burke. Steenbergen. Bashing. Prospetov. Jordan Gross is going to say no due to depth. Uh, Spacek returns and SUNY signs his entry level. No NHLer decided to return. That's actually, actually fantastic. Aiden. Buddy old pal. What if I did 7x7? Seven seven? A lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's that's going to make you a rich man. I'll take it. Christian Fisher. I find yeah, I'll do two years of this. I want the two years. I would like the two years. Jordan Gross, we're just going to say goodbye to you since you're having issues at depth. Thank you for your service. But we will see you another day. Tyler Pitlick. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll just give you what you want. And Lane Peterson, I guess I will just bring back. 
Uh, Kumarati. Also, I'm just gonna leave as an RFA. Advance day. Pitlick does resign. Fisher does resign. And Barrett Hayden does resign. Seven by seven. Lane Peterson does resign. So you know what that means. Ba -ba -da -ba. Wheel time. Yes, the wheel. So we are going to decide what Barrett Hayden is going to have on his contract tacked on for the next seven seasons. <sighs> Let's find out. Spins a wheel. Uh, oh my god. Barrett Hayden has rolled amazing and will get a full no trade clause on to his team. On, or onto his contract. That gives him a lot of power over the team. Oh my god. Oh my god. Full modified no trade clause for Baird Hayden. Fun. Alright, we're going to free agency. Denny is also going to resign. Oh man. Gonna roll a little bit better there, but hey, that makes my life easier. Hey, let me actually uh, write this down. Uh, Barrett Hayden. I guess I'm just right. Hayden. Hayden. Seven mil. Seven years. Full. No trade clause. Lucky man, let me just say. So Barrett Hayden will remain a coyote for the next seven years. Barring him demanding a trade or him changing his mind if asked. But what do we need as this team personally? We might not need a lot of things. Personally thinking, I don't think we need a lot. Maybe a third liner would be nice. Right now, the top six would be Hayden, uh Dvorak, Schmaltz, Keller, uh Garland. Yeah, and Kessel. That's a pretty good top six. Oh, on the older side when it comes to Kessel. So right now, the third line would be, say, Fisher. A step on. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to fix our bottom six a little bit. Yep, we're going to need to really fix the bottom six. It is a little bit shallow right now. <sighs> but we can hopefully do that. We just need to get Cooper Marardi. Except that Sean Couturier has made it to free agency. Oh, man. Goaltenders. Yeah, we could have gone uh, Frederick Anderson here, but he's older, more expensive, and, uh, you know, other things. Darcy Kemper. Gonna earn himself a pretty penny, most likely. So fourth line center is what we're probably gonna look for here. Uh... Where is Cooper Morardi? Cooper. He's the center, right? Cooper Morardi. Am I being dumb? He's down here? What? Hey, what? Where's Cooper? Alright, Cooper. Big Coop. He's the center, right? Or is he like a left wing? Center. Let me check. Let me check. He's not up in the majors, obviously. 78. Alright, Cooper. What do you want? Uh, pal, I'm not giving that to you. I'm sorry, I'm not tickling your fancy like that. That is a no bueno by me, to say the very least. Okay. The third line left winger would be nice. Yeah, we'll do forwards and look at yeah low second line third line ryan strome kind of interesting but eh. uh we need a power forward yeah we just got rid of uh we just moved on from uh lawson kraus so power forward would be needed and this does not seem to be the free agency for power forwards lawson kraus uh, does not get his contract signing are there any power forwards up here on the northern end? There is one. Vinny 
bro check. Oh, that is it. That is it, Vinny. Bro check. Played really well, actually. Florida. It's online, too. So we play Trocheck here. And say, let's say that second line is Kessel, Trocheck, and uh, probably Schmaltz. Hmm. And that would bump down. Uh, Who's that bump down? That bumps down Dvorak. Dvorak in the center of that third line. But Dvorak will get extra time on the special teams. I'm not against that idea. I am not against it. I got the money to spend. I think I just might spend it. Vinny Trocheck. What if you were to take a six by or five by six? It's a bit of money, but I'm willing to spend some money. I'm willing to spend a little bit of money. That's going to fill in uh, that slot in the third line, left wing. The fourth line is really just what we need here. So a fourth line, left winger. Carl Grunstrom. But you're an R. Are you not an RFA? No, the Kings just released you. I guess he didn't play that great, so... I'm going to take a flyer on Grunstrom. You know what? I do not see... We will see what we can get out of Grunstrom. I'll take a flyer out on him. And a centerman. We're going to get a depth centerman. Hakkonen. Okay, there's a lot of top six forwards that are here. Okay, I'm going to limit myself just to getting uh, Grunstrom. Does it, yeah, getting okay. Yeah, no, I that's that's could be a little cheaty. Uh, bring in Luke Glenn Denning, but he kind of wants a bit much for a depth. Kevin Shore, like great in the AHL. NHL can't really say much. Can't say much in the NHL. Zach Ashton Reese, I assume, playing the minors. Yeah, you play in San Diego. Yeah, only fit on line two. Frederick Gutierrez, where do you fit? We don't even, we don't even know. Colton Sevier. Yeah, only on the first line, but you fit on the PK. Verhage. Carter Verhage. It's on the PK, potentially. I'm going to go with Verhage. Yeah, you know what? We got a little bit of money to spend. If I pay a depth player 1.5 million, I'm not going to lose sleep about it. We got cap for days. We got cap money for days. Okay. We have signed a depth center. Our depth. Our, uh, blah, 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 blah. A new top six forward. And a depth. Or, uh, a fourth line left winger so right now Baird Hayden not Baird Hayden uh what's his face um the R RFA we have what what's what's your name Cooper Marardi there we go Cooper Marardi we're gonna wait for a little bit to be our fourth line center for Hagee yep okay okay so that leaves us with six centers at least Active at six active centers, two left wings. Okay, we should be good on the NHL front. First, cut one of these two will probably end up making the NHL. Actually, there's a lot of options of who can make the NHL. Centers is not a problem down the minors. But what is a problem? I guess an extra left wing and an extra right wing would not hurt, but I think Sooney might be coming up to the majors. I want Sooney to play. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to sign too many players. Go get a goalie, but I think we should be 
pretty much good. Yeah, I think we should be pretty much good. Goaltenders. AHL goaltenders. Is there any prospect that I could potentially poach? Uh, there's a bunch. Fort Skinner. Are you an RFA? No! Sogard? Okay, I'm gonna steal this guy. Yohu Markinen, LA, what were you doing? What are you doing, pal, LA? Oh my god, LA is being silly. LA being silly over there. Casey Middlestad is really the only major. Um, either, not major steal, not even prospect. And the Rackcliffe. Potentially be a steal. I'm just looking. I don't think I'm going to sign any major steals since I already kind of picked mine. Bennington, though. Brendan Bennington. Uh, yeah, let's just get a couple depth players to the AHL. Just so, uh, for injuries. Injury reasons. Yeah, well, I just see Riley Tuck. Yeah. Top set. Ah, I'm breaking my rule. I'm bringing in Riley Tuck. You know what? Fuck it. I'm breaking my rule there. The power forward. Power forwards. Uh, they they do. They are they are bad for me. Power forwards are a bad thing for me. Wait, Oscar. Come on in, buddy. The water's warm. Uh, we got Oscar. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we can just sim to next season, barring everyone resigns. Yeah, barring everyone resigns. Uh, we also need to get a scout. Two scouts, I believe. A U.S. Central and SHL. I just want to double check. SHL? No, it was uh, NHL Central. Yep, NHL Central and SHL. NHL or uh, AHL Pedersen. Uh, don't really work in the Central, but Neil does. Br Brianna, Neil. Please come to the Coyotes. Uh, any? Uh, okay, honey. Okay, Russia. Do you potentially work in the SHL? You do. Uh, let me see if there's any other bees that work in the S S SHL. Nordic. Uh, SHL, but you're B minus. Ooh, is that Nabokov? You are. Oh, Andre Nabokov. Only 32 years old. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go with uh, Sharov. Alexandria Sharov. We'll just scout me at SHL. Uh, no changes I'm making to coaches, so yeah. We are just going to sim and see if everyone resigns. For anyone, everyone signs James Neal. No, I'm not trading finger. You dumb. No. Alrighty, Neil will accept. Amazing. So will Sharab. No, go away, Minnesota. I not want you. Trocheck does not sign with us. He goes to the Canadians. Or Hagee's going to come here. Uh, Grunstrom will. Riley Tufty will. Uh, Oscar Muller. We'll decide to come. Markinainen is going to join uh, the AHL affiliate and potentially the backup spot next season, depending on how fast he develops. Okay, so I got Riley Tuffy. This probably might actually slot in in the top six. Let me let me view contracts right now. So right now, my NHL projected rosters. Hayden, Dvorak, Schmaltz, Stepan, Verhage. Yeah, Keller, Grunstrom, Tufty. Connor, Garland, uh, okay. So, yeah, I'm pretty set. I just need to go sign, um, Ferrari. And Defenseman. Richard Vatan, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll have one of these two be the healthy scratch. So Soderstrom slots in, and I think we might be good to go. 
I think we may be good to go. Actually, no, we need a couple defensemen down here. We need a left hand. Uh, yeah, left handed. No, we need a right handed. Right handed defenseman. Uh, actually, two right handed defensemen. And a depth left wing. Okay. So I'll make those signings. And then we'll send the next season. But we should be good. Should be good. It sucks to lose uh, out on Trocheck, but Tufty, who knows? We could maybe squeeze development out of him. We could throw the kid to the wolves, and maybe he'll uh, maybe he'll do good. Is that Josh Brown? That is Josh Brown. I didn't know he was a right winger. That's what I was wondering. Uh, yeah, why not? Sure, Josh Brown. Why not? You're looking mighty fine. <laughs> You're looking mighty cute. Come on in. That is like the qualifications here. If I think you look cute, you might have a chance with the team. Is this probably against NHL policy? Yes. Do I care about NHL policy? No. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I get Jordan Gross. Uh, Jeremy Davies. It was uh, overall, or uh, not overall. Oh, Jordan Subban. Of course. I'm bringing in Subban. Of course. Of course. Uh, now we're just seeing a left handed Kale Rosen. We could do him. I like Kale Rosen. Just because his name. I like a lot of players just because their names. It's strange. Fair Brother. Giovanni Fairbrother. Yeah, I'm bringing a Fairbrother. Yeah, take that, Canadians. You, you stole my guy one to sign on fridge. Well, I just took a middling prospect from you. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Uh, no, I really do not want Hornquist. Especially in a trade that sends Victor Soderstrom the other way. Okay, what is my trade block right now? No. I'm not selling off the kids. No. No, 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 no. Right now we're kind of built, we're, we're good now, but we're a young team. So I don't really mind having young players. But I would like to bring in some veteran presence, but we'll do that when it's necessary. Keep some in days. Josh Brown, welcome to the team. George Zuban, welcome to the team. And Fair Brother, welcome to the team. Team. Go, team, go. All right. Let's just click send the next season and then just stop at some point and talk to Moradi then. How about that? Or when the game pops up, say, like, hey, did you forget about this RFA? And I'm like, nope. I definitely did not forget about him. Not at all. Maybe a little bit. Like that. Yeah, yeah, I got a plan. I, I plan. Plan. Playoffs. You're talking about playoffs. Uh, Cooper, 1.5. There you go, Brent Pierre. Brent Pierre wants some money. Anthony Duclair wants a cheap deal. Okay, Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. Cooper does resign. Fourth line center, baby. The team got a little revamp. Whether that was a good thing or a bad thing, we shall see. They got a revamp. And hopefully, this can be, uh, we can be building towards something. I'm not expecting me playoff contenders right now, but I would like to at least be building towards something and have a vision going. So who is not in the lineup? They're not in the NHL. They're not even in the NHL. Duffy, Duffy will come up. Uh, oh boy, we got we got a lot of options to call up as to help us grab Spacek, Steinberg. I'll probably call up Spacek, give Steinberg some more time. Eh. Steenberg might be ready to play now. Yeah, Johan Markinen and you are looking saucy. Save our least. Yes, Sturkin. Commanding the crease. But we're gonna have a fun team going forward. We are gonna have a fun team moving forward. Josh Brown, you wanna go down? Yeah, yeah, you're signed for the AHO. Yeah, you go down. Steenbergen, you're gonna come on up. Riley Tufty, you're gonna come on up. Tufty, we're gonna test you out in top six. 
I am feeling crazy. I'm feeling psycho. Like, oh my god. I am psycho. I'm feeling real crazy. I will play with these lines off screen. Not to bore your head off, but we got some young players. We got some interesting pieces. Essentially moving forward. I would like to thank you all for watching. But above all else, stay cute out there, my comrades.